Yes. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a bull for the month of January 2019? I know you guys are like, no, you so damn late. I already know with your fixed ass. You don't fixly talk some shit. That's just what you do, dude. But how about think about it like, no, you waited till 111 to do our video? Perspective shifts. Change is good, boo. All right. Hey, boo. Hey, it's your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube here that can better assist you with getting your messages out. <laughs> No cousin. <laughs> Shit. Um, new subscribers, returning subscribers, family. We are all family. To the new subscribers, thank you uh, for subscribing to my channel and welcome to the family. We are, we are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuz. We love, we enlighten, we share, and we grow. You understand positive shit only? This will be for the entire month of January 2019. Some of the things, um, and this is, of course, it's a general. It's not a personal thing. Personal for about two days, you'll be able to <laughs> reach me um, below. But I am currently on a break, and I'm still kind of going to be <clears throat> breaking, um, going out and uh, further out in the month of uh, January. I'm not going to be doing any mid month, but I will be back fast and furious to do uh, your February generals, all right? So, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Taurus. If you need that personal reading, I currently have a $15 off special for the next two days, all right, um, for my 30 to 60 minute sessions. Um, and y'all, just hit me up, send me an email, it's in the description. Let's rock, all right? I would like to thank everybody for my likes, my shares, <clears throat> my subscribes, the comments, you guys. I read every comment. Thank you so much. Also, Happy New Year, because I didn't I didn't see y'all asses. I didn't talk to y'all at the beginning. Of the year. Happy New Year, you all. Um, I'm still getting everything set up. I recently moved, so I got some, you know, great things going on. I'm sorry. This is actually why I had to be late to your damn video. But, um, you guys, off the rip, to be honest, the energy that I really felt with you guys, I set up on y'all energy and meditated for a long time. And it was really more so a resistance to change. And I feel like if people keep telling you the same shit, maybe it's something within that shit that they see in Taurus that you need to hear. I mean, act upon. I mean, acknowledge it. I mean, cool, cool. Get, send, send, send the universe's word that you, you understood that shit or something. I mean, because sitting still and repeating the same things over and 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 over again. And not to say that you guys are stagnant by, by no means necessary. Y'all some go get us. I simply mean your ways, the ways that you do things, the ways that you know to do things, traditional ties, things of that nature. What is it that you are truly passionate about? What is it? Where do you see yourself, you know, at the end of this year? What is it that you want to do? What plan do you have? All right. What what type of structure are you willing to bring to the plan? What sacrifices are you willing to make for your family, for the things that really matter to you? What what things are you willing to change that you've been doing the same the same shit of that's not getting you anywhere? And I feel like there's a huge resistance to that change, but truly trusting the process and accepting that change is really going to bring you guys to a beautiful place. If you only just really focus on what it is that you're trying to manifest, focus on where it is that you want to be. Not where it is that somebody else thinks you should be and what you should do, but what does your heart sing out to you? What 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 is your soul screaming to you? Hey, this is what I would like to do. This is what I was born for. What is that to us? Right? So, I'm going to start with your archangel. Oracle card message from Doreen Virtue first, okay? We're going to see what the archangels have to say. And who got to say it to my bulls? Here are messages. What messages do we know? All right. Taurus, January 2019. Victory. All right. This is Archangel Sandifer. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. When I was actually shuffling um my my um, another oracle deck that I have, I literally kept hearing alignment 
alignment. You know, you may not see the beauty of what's to come, but just know that things are happening for you, not to you, and just trust the alignment process, all right? It may even be a little uncomfortable, you know, but just know that things are working for you, and some people just can't go. And a lot of y'all should have learned in 2018, all right? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have? My beautiful Taurians. Ooh. Oh, January 2019. What messages do you have? My Taurians. Taurians. My boobs. January 2019. Spirit, what is it that you need to know? January 2019. All right. <clears throat> some of you are again balance, a balancing actor, right? For some of you all, it's truly balancing how you feel internally. Some of you all are really so focused on what everybody gonna think about what the hell it is that y'all doing. The spirit is leading you to find the balance with, within everything that you do. For some of you all, I'm literally here in moderation, so some of you guys could be overindulging, and I feel like it's an escape. It's, it's only a damn temporary escape. Yeah, some of you all could, in the month of January, could be receiving some type of, um, I feel this could also be some message from spirit. This could come in the form of a dream for you all. This could have actually happened the beginning of January, actually. I feel like for some of you all going into this second week, this could be happening. Or as we went into the second week, this you guys could have received some communication that Assists you to balance yourself and balance some of the things that you were feeling internally, okay? I feel like a lot of you all are going to be receiving a lot of messages from spirit during this time in your dreams, man. You really need to trust your dreams, all right? For some of you all, <clears throat> yeah, for some of you all, this could have had to do, or this could have to do with something that you're trying to um, work on or something that you're trying to start. So some of y'all could actually be working on yourself during this time. Some of you all are trying to move towards what it is that you were born for. I feel like during this time, a lot of you all will be focusing on yourself and focusing on the things that is going to progress you forward, moving forward, all right? I definitely feel like some of y'all are truly going within and truly using the wisdom that the past have taught you versus looking at shit like, you know, because for some of you all, this could also be, Working on yourself as far as some y'all need to, some y'all really need to focus on your health during this time. And I feel like for some of you all, there is a focus on mental health. And it's more so from you guys living in this self imposed prison. And I feel like this is energy carried on in from last year into the new year. And for some of you all, it's just really kind of taking that moment to reflect and really be real with yourself. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of white birds during this time. I feel like owls is somebody's um, spirit total. And so, yeah, some of you all, some of y'all could also be receiving communication from your higher self during this time in the form of some type of um, meditative state or in the form of some form, in the form of some type of like dream. Some of you all will be finding that you've honed a new ability and that you actually have premonitions in your ass. Don't gotta be sick. Do not be afraid. Do not let it do not let it freak you out. I feel that you really need to work on, you know, researching that, you know, researching it and also really, really, really making that time to find within yours within your damn busy ass day, Taurus, all right, to truly, truly, truly put in some type of Tender love and care to your damn self because a lot of y'all really overextend yourselves for your family and your loved ones. In the month of January, I feel like a lot of you all will be really, y'all taking off the damn mask. A lot of you all are really going to be working on grounding yourself and focusing on your abundance. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, this is faded because I definitely feel some of you all, there's a repetitive cycle that you've been completing over and over and over and over and over and over again. And by the third week of January, you're just going to come to this conclusion. And this could come in the form of some download of how to move forward and which way that you need to go. And for some of you all, it's taking off the mask as far as the connection is. The connection. Some of y'all also have some form of like a mother figure. Or some form of, this is a female definitely in your life. You no, know, itching like hell. This could be a mother figure. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you've been kind of trapped. It's, 
trapped in this place of mental constraint of, you know, kind of limiting yourself as far as life of, you know, well, what is my mom going to think or allowing your mom to. Some of y'all taking off the damn mask and really seeing how much power that you've given some, some form of a mother figure, okay? Some of y'all, the way that you do things, you could be working on yourself after really kind of reflecting on the fact some of y'all have mother issues as far as some of y'all don't really speak to your mother during this time I'm feeling. That relationship is definitely going to be balanced um, in the month of January, but I definitely feel like there's somebody who's having some type of mother issue. And you needed to take off the mask and the picture that you paint to everybody like, oh, it's good. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. And actually communicate that because for some of y'all, this have to do with your damn life purpose as well as the damn soul contract. For some of you all, and this is going to bring you balance so you can let it go because y'all be holding on to shit for real, for real. Some of y'all really need to get out of nature during this time. Yeah. Taurus, some of y'all could also receive some form of communication that is going to bring your life balance. This could actually have to do with some type of like work opportunity. This could have to do with some form of um financial endeavor, definitely. I feel like some of you all are coming out of this place of not standing up for yourself, not communicating, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all making a choice to just start completely the fuck over. You know, walk in the door of the unknown, and I definitely feel like for some of y'all, hell yeah, there's a need for you to jump off the damn cliff. Jump off the cliff. Ain't nothing to fear but fear itself. Shit, what, where is there to go but up when you can hit the bottom? Think about it. Only one way to go. And some of you all are going to be um, receiving some type of downloads, especially while you're in nature. Some of y'all are really needing to get out and work on your actual physical health. Get your ass up and move. Yeah. When it comes to your business endeavor, some of you all, whatever it is that you've been working on, I definitely feel like things are aligning for you. There's there's this, a lot of y'all are really not speaking your truth. Some of y'all could also need to work on your throat chakra during this time, and some of y'all root chakra may be a bit off. If your dreams are just jacked the fuck up, will you find yourself killing your family members and things like that? Because, you know, we real, we family, we, we talk. Some of y'all may be having some very awkward dreams, and I definitely feel like it has to do with what you're holding internally. There's a need and an opportunity in the month of January to forgive, especially when it comes to the second and third week. Yeah. Things are aligning for you. Things are aligning for you. During this time, y'all crown chakra is going to be off the chain. You definitely need to be receptive to, uh, from, to the messages from spirit. It is going to bring you... Um, it is going to bring you to a place of feeling very grounded, very abundant, whatever abundance means to you. Some of y'all may be seeing a lot of frogs during this time. For those of you who live in the woods, somebody lives in the woods. Is, um, <laughs> someone, Taurus, some of y'all, and this is definitely for someone who lives in a wooded area. And you could also, whoever I'm talking to, you could also be partnered with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Strong emphasis on the Capricorn. I definitely feel like some of y'all do some type of healing or you connected to someone who does some type of healing using dragons. Or some type of like mystic dragon like healing remedy. And I feel like some of you all are very kind of... Because whomever this is, I feel religion has to do with why you're not really coming to the surface. But I feel like you have a, a, um, a massive way to help people. And I definitely feel like there is some type of internal conflict. And that there's this fear of judgment. This is not for everybody. This is for some damn body, though. This is fear of judgment. And I definitely feel like your crown chakra has been on fire telling you to move forward, move forward. We're in the year of, we're in the, uh, the age of Aquarius, baby. Expansion is inevitable okay but some of you all some of y'all could also be finding out that your father's congratulations some of y'all could also be um this could also have to do with um even with that situation you could have inherited that particular ability or that particular um i'm hearing sorcery but i don't want to use that word because it doesn't feel dark it feels like someone could be a white witch but you inherited that ability that that trait from your father and I feel like this is also going to give you an opportunity to mend with your father okay now for whomever this is your father could be on the other side I'm hearing as well and I feel like you could be dreaming of your father like your father could be kind of telling you what to do or how to move for some of you all um 
some of y'all are holding on to some type of resentment towards your father or there's this fear of like things are going to be aligning for you guys to forgive a situation with some of y'all the mother and for some of you all the father especially if your father or your mother is an earth sign capricorn toy virgo or another Taurus like you Taurus, you could also be a father and you could just be focusing on your abundance but in the midst of focusing on your abundance there's a need for you to make that time for yourself as well as for love and balance that out. You're finding a balance during this time, internally and externally. For some of you all, you have a telepathic connection with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, speed is bringing abundance in all forms to your life in the month of January. If you're going to be receptive and actually be accepted to the things that are aligning for you and be willing to do the self work, it starts within the self, okay? Yeah, and for some of you all, things are aligning for what it is that you're passionate about, but there's a need to reflect in the past of what 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 did not what did not go wrong, what what did not go right, what did I do, what what can I do differently, versus looking at it from what did what didn't go right, what did not do the correct way. What research can I have? What research can I do? How passionate am I about this? Am I willing to walk through the door of the unknown? Should I know what it's like to not to live in this place of not not speaking my truth? I know what it's like to be in the midst of having motherfucking snakes around me trying to shed they damn get a two cents to my damn situation, keeping me in this place of illusionment and 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 and, and delusion delusionment if that's even a damn word. It's gonna be a word today, but keeping me in this place of the unknown. And I feel like a lot of you all are walking through the door of enlightenment. Okay, see that I feel like with the apple, that 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 signifies some form of like teachers, teachers pet. So I definitely feel like this is the road least less less travel, and it's narrow as shit. So all of them naysayers can't go with you, and this just need to accept that and chase your passions and understand that what works for everybody else and what don't work for everybody else may not be your damn story. What if you win? What if you actually reach your potential and reach your goal and actually have what it is that you're desiring? If you're choosing to do something different, change is good. These lunar cycles, that full moon cycle, a lot of you all um, could actually be going through some type of light activation as well during the, during that full moon cycle. I feel it's going to be the one... Um, in March, some of y'all is March the 3rd, I believe, March the 30th, y'all let me know when that solar eclipse cycle is, um, it's, I, I think it's, I know it's three phases of it, but I believe one is the, I know one is the 20th, one is the, or the 21st, something like that, one is the 5th of uh, February or something like that, and I think another one is the 3rd or the 30th, alright, so a lot of you all, a lot of y'all really need to research how to manipulate the damn moon cycles as far as manifesting what it is you want. You welcome that Mocha did your video in one and every five. You welcome. I talk shit about my toilet to the party. I'm working on it in 2019. <laughs> well, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Torians for the month of January for their finances? What your money look like? I know some of y'all didn't just come here. Some of y'all come for the spirit message, but some of y'all also come here. Mocha, do you see some money? You see me hitting the lottery in now? That's like asking me is Tupac coming back. I mean, we all know, but whole nother video, whole nother damn day. Okay? Shit. And some of you all, some of y'all are definitely having new babies, uh, new additions as far as abundance. Some of y'all are actually going to be starting something new. Some of y'all may be actually be, some of you all may be in your head about starting something new, a new creative endeavor, and you definitely will have victory if you actually move forward, get your ass out your head, and make a move. Yeah. I definitely feel like whatever it is that you guys were creating, I'm speak, definitely speaking to my entrepreneurs. In 2018, you may have seen some form of like slow slow progress. I definitely feel like things are going to be in the month of January a still bit a bit of slow moving, but I definitely feel more so a, a little bit momentum, more momentum on that movement. Yeah. Some of you all could also be walking away from a damn job 
and starting something new. All right. And for some of you all, it's definitely something that you could have been that you could have been doing in the past that you're very positive. I mean, that you're very passionate about. I'm also hearing um artistry. Some of you all are artists. Some of you all are healers. All right. Some of you, again, some of you all are artists. Some of you all are healers. All right. And, and I feel like this is also a past life connection. If you've been just randomly researching um holistics or some type of form of like non-modern medicine okay uh this could also be reiki some of you all uh, create meditation music some of you all um also some of you guys could also want to start something new as far as like vlogging blogging some of you guys could also be wanting to come to the YouTube community as like workers. Come, shum on. We need you, okay? Um, and I feel like there's this internal conflict about it. And I definitely feel like, again, that has, tie, that has ties to past life karma for some of you all with that fear of judgment. People don't talk about your ass regardless. You don't y'all know? Shit. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. Fuck it. My mom used to say, fuck them, girl. Fuck them. Um, <clears throat> for some of you all, yeah, some of you guys are definitely very passionate about some type of uh, endeavor as far as healing. There's a strong emphasis on entrepreneurship. Some of y'all also be uh, may have to travel to some form of like a new job. Some of you all um, may have like a new opportunity, but I definitely feel like it's going to involve some form of moving forward or traveling or moving away. And for some of y'all, it's moving away from some shit that you need to move away from to heal from anyway. But lessons in disguise, catalyst situations to make you move. What matters? The toxic shit? The bullshit? All right? Some of y'all often have to make a decision as far as love and finances. Love over money. I don't know why I'm going to do a love spread. This ain't a love spread. It's a general spread, but I'm going to take it as it comes. Yeah. But some of you all, you could have walked away from a job. I definitely see a new opportunity coming very fast. I definitely feel like some of you all, um, some of y'all who've been waiting on a job or waiting to hear back from a job and just that particular job, there's a need for you to actually go look for another damn job. Don't wait three damn weeks, four weeks for a damn job to call, and that's just the only damn only damn eggs that you put in a, in a basket. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Some of you all are very indecisive um, when it comes to moving away from a job that you could have possibly been there for about six months, six years, three years, eight months, eight years. This could even be four. But things are definitely coming into harmony as far as your finances. Things are balancing out for you. Some of you all may be seeing 444. There's a need for you to be non-resistant to expansion as well as not being afraid to move forward, especially towards things that you are really passionate about, things that you're very loving of. Because I definitely feel like if you choose to move forward and stop fucking, quit fucking fighting the damn resistance. Stop resisting change, Taurus. All right, cut off the things that you need to cut off. If it's a toxic ass job and you have opportunities to move forward, but you're kind of skeptical about it because you're comfortable where you at, is comfort bringing you fulfillment? Nah. All right. If you just trust the process and not be afraid to start over, knowing that you everything, every need that you have will be provided for you, baby. It's, the outcome is this King of Pentacles. It's you, big money. But January definitely looks like a great month financially. But you're really gonna have to trust yourself, trust your passions, passions, trust your uh, endeavors, as well as be very productive and persistent on what it is that you're trying to create and what it is that you're trying to actually market. All right. So let's get it. For the love, what is going on with my boys? What is going on with my... Are y'all still with the corner shit? Eh? I'm hearing yes. <laughs> yes, y'all have to... Y'all ain't gonna say it. Spirit don't be telling no tales, though. Yes, there's a need for Taurus to leave the karmic and come to divine love. Oh, shoot, Taurus. All right, so spirit, what messages do you have for my family magazine? Call us the cross watchers for the sign. Towards love for the month of January 2019. That's just what you have. Yeah. Some of you all may either be receiving or giving an offer, okay, to um, maybe receiving an offer. Some of y'all may have a Sagittarian person coming to make an offer to you. For some of you all, 
some of y'all actually manifested this. She's going to get your wish with your sad you coming back. But for some of you all, I feel like when this person comes back, because I feel like they're, they're coming back with an offer that is just not so damn fancy. I feel like somebody has the ability to make a little bitty offer. So I was just like, and it's going to put you back in this damn, back in this place in your damn head, okay? So some of you all, this could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I definitely feel like someone is really kind of moving away from this place of indecisiveness. Somebody drink too damn much. Some of y'all uh, could also be in your head about taking an offer from either an earth sign or making an offer to an earth sign or a Sagittarius due to someone drinking, okay? And I feel like someone is just very, very, very slow moving. Yeah. Taurus, a lot of you guys are coming out of conflict, coming out of inner conflict. I feel like for some of y'all, you want to have a divine, you want to have a union with an earth sign. Okay. This could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also see this damn sad shit, but I feel like somebody's not willing to change. I feel like one person gives to the relationship and somebody's just kind of, you know, half assing it, if I must say. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person, for some of you all, this person is kind of in their head and kind of shifty. And I feel like a push and pull happening. And I definitely feel like in the month of January, some of y'all could also be receiving some, uh, some some communication, possibly from this damn water sign about somebody had fascinated either you or this person. I feel like someone is definitely shifty. Some of y'all dealing with another Capricorn towards Virgo, another uh, Earth sign. And I feel like there can be love with this person. There can, you know, be a building of something, especially if you have a, ch a child with this person too. But I feel like somebody's just so damn stubborn that they really just not want to, again, some of y'all got a family with this person, okay? This could also be their water sign or any damn sign. Some of y'all also could kind of be, you want a family situation to work. This could be any type of family dynamic. This could be towards you dealing with someone with kids, vice versa. But I definitely feel like for some of you, this could be your damn kids. But I feel like some of you all, you really ultimately want that Ten of Pentacles. And for some of you all, you're going to get it, but there's going to be need. There's a need to compromise. There's a need to for someone to be willing to be selfless and actually be a, be not afraid to be vulnerable and express the love, all right? And this could be for a water sign, all right? Some of y'all are definitely going to be bringing harmony back to a family situation. This could involve um, a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of y'all possibly could be in love with a fire sign or trying to uh, trying to um, come back together with a family situation, amend a family situation in the month of January. For some of you all, oh. Well, some of y'all are moving towards um, a cancer, or you could actually be making um, making a love offer to a cancer, or this could actually be, some of y'all could also be resisting change, all right? And I feel like for so, those of you who are resisting, resisting change in your ways, all right, especially if this is involving a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody is resisting change in a situation where the love could actually be stable and there is a lot of nurturing and care and a lot of feminine energy here. I feel like there's so much sensuality, but some there's also so much stubbornness. So much of somebody half-assed wanting to communicate. I feel like somebody is also suffering in silence. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of cancer, I must say that this is how they see you. They see you as toxic. They see your behavior as toxic. For some of y'all, this could be um, Taurus. You could be looking at a cancer that way. Like, I really want to make this offer to you, you know, but I feel like your ass is toxic. For some of y'all, somebody definitely drinks too much. And for some of y'all, somebody is dealing with a narcissistic Taurus. And I'm literally hearing Taurus. I'm sorry for the shot, but. You were saying it's for some of y'all, it's you, the control of things, okay? For some of you all, you're resisting change and you really want to stay stuck in this place, stuck in your ways, and you're really stuck in your damn head about the thing. Life is really forcing you all in many different avenues, especially in love, in order to have harmony and stability in situations, again, especially when it comes to renewed relationships, to be willing to compromise, to be willing to change. If the shit did not work in the past and you're really passionate, this is what you want. What are you willing to sacrifice? Is it pride? Is it ego? 
Is it the tit for tat shit? Is it the need to be right? Is it is it is it vulnerability? For some of you all, some of y'all also could be um resisting a Capricorn during this time as well. I'm not talking to this person. I feel like there is love there. The Taurus is not with the shits. Some of you guys are um possibly moving on from a Capricorn. Or someone could be moving on from um someone could just be moving on due to toxic behavior, I feel. Yeah. In the month of January, you guys are gonna be receiving 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 communication possibly from an air sign. Some of y'all could also be um some of y'all could also be cutting off cutting off a water sign, cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or this person could also be finding out some information that just really makes them wanna um Leave the union. And I feel like for some of y'all, you could be moving away from um, an air sign. I see everybody's here, okay? But somebody's going to be moving away from someone who they love. And I definitely feel like whomever this is, they have spoken about it many, many, many times. But I definitely feel in the month of January, somebody is going to move straight up, cut somebody off. Like somebody coming home to pretty much an empty, an empty, their partner shit is going to be gone. Okay. And I definitely feel like this could be the mother of your children. I also feel like this could be some type of mother and figure. This could also be, um, I definitely feel like this is somebody you had a child with. This could also be somebody who y'all could find out later that, or you could have just recently found out this person could be pregnant. Like you on the brink of a new beginning. And it's something that Taurus truly, truly, truly wants. So what are you really willing to sacrifice in order to have it? Because for some of you all, this this drinking shit, this sitting, just sitting on it, like I'm passionate about this. I'm this, but this person ain't doing this my way. For some of you all, that control going to leave you by yourself. And for some of you all, I feel like it's to surface a fear because some of y'all have not healed from this feeling of a fear of being alone, a fear of rejection. Some of y'all are really comfortable in your ways. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you definitely want a new beginning with either the father or the mother of your children. Y'all are, there's this focus on family during this time. Family, I feel like love, balancing, balancing out the time to, you know, have, make for your loved ones, for your family, as well as work, as well as your love interest. And I feel like Taurus, some of y'all just really want to get money and do what you want to do. But if you truly want love in your life, you got to be willing to make a sacrifice to care about that other person's feelings and also be willing to be compassionate to what that other person's feelings and not just hear them, feel them and be willing to show them that you give a damn. Because I definitely feel like something new for those of you who are not in any relationships. I also see new love coming for some of you all in the form of an Aries person. OK, I also see this could be a cancer. I see for some of you all it could be Sag. Capricorns here. Okay, but this is definitely going to be after moving away from something or someone. All right. Or this is this could happen after someone moving away from you, Taurus, and focusing on their stability. Some of y'all could be telling someone the truth. Look, I can't do this shit no more. It's toxic. I'm over it. I can't. I don't feel like I can focus on the things that I'm passionate about. I don't feel like, you know, this relationship is going to change. I'm going to focus on my own stability. I'm going to focus on what it is that matters to me. Newness. And I won't new everything. And for some of you all, you're going to get it. But it's definitely going to be after a tower moment. You're going to get that new new. And for some of y'all chasing your passions and what it is that you truly want, it's going to cause a tower moment. But it's also going to bring an opportunity to truly heal the things that really matter to you. Truly heal the relationships that's worth keeping. But it's going to take for sacrifice, sacri a sacrificial attitude, though, boobs. And for some of you all, some of you all in the month of January, you're going to release this hurt. You're going to release this fear. You're going to release this, you know, this heaviness that's been preventing you. From recreating the world that you want to manifest, the world that you want to see in the in your everyday reality, but the change starts with you. 
Marine Police. But in the month of January, I definitely see things balancing out as far as your love. For some of you all, some of y'all gonna stay still. Stay where your ass at and find the harmony and the balance within your situations in order to make your to make your commitments move forward. Standing in your power and your seat as it's powerful. Understanding that again, change starts within you. You hold the key internally to shift your circumstances. But you gotta find that balance and Find that balance without feeling like you're stuck or you're trapped to a situation. You're stuck giving to it and you're not. If you're not happy, please cut your ass free. You got one life to live. Time and peace is expensive because it don't cost nothing. You can't buy it back. You can't get that back. Think about it. Some of you all, this could involve a Pisces as well. Balance could be coming to that relationship. But I definitely feel like there's this need for tourists to truly communicate how they feel. Good or bad or ugly. You grow. Who gonna whoop your ass? And what really matters to them? Because you can have it. But sometimes you gotta be willing to sacrifice any noun in the midst of in, in the midst of your life that's causing a blockage to them. Whether it's a person, place, thing, feeling, emotion, etc. Think about it. This is what I have for you guys for the month of January. I love y'all. I see y'all in the month of February. And again, if you need that reading, in the description box below. Love y'all. Namaste.